Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the Jewish society had its own law regarding the division of property among the children. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21, verse 17, we find the firstborn son shall have a double share of the father's property, and the second one will have only one share. It was also a customary law that the sons do not ask for the share of property as long as the father is still alive. On the contrary, the father of the prodigal son doesn't follow all these laws. He just shares with whom the way his son wants and all that he asks for. By doing this, the father respects his freedom. The father also knows that he would learn better by making mistakes than mere advice. That is why we say experience is the best teacher. Now the son's prodigal life exactly reflects the mind of the father. The son does live a loose life, spends everything, falls into a wretched life. Then he comes to his senses and says, what a wretched and miserable life I am leading. This indeed is a true self-realization. He begins to trust in his father's forgiveness, saying, I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. The very thought of going back to his father speaks volumes about his trust in father's mercy. Your father doesn't bother to listen to his son's past, rather, he is fully immersed in embracing and kissing him. He orders for a grand celebration. In the same way, our Heavenly Father's sorrow becomes great joy when we get up and go back to him. He will be busy preparing a banquet rather than listening to our past. Let us try to be merciful like the Heavenly Father. It is also good for us to reflect on the behavior pattern of the elder son in the parable. The very first verse of today's gospel sets the audience and the purpose of the parable. The audience, the Pharisees and the scribes. The purpose, they murmured, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. The elder son is the typical depiction of scribes and Pharisees. He just cannot stomach the unconditional mercy shown to his brother. He presents himself as the only righteous man. He looks down upon his own brother who has come back. We all of us make mistakes, fall and go through struggles in life. But how many of us believe that the Lord intends to teach us certain lessons through hard ways? Have we learned any lessons from our mistakes and falls? Secondly, when will we come to our senses and turn to the merciful love of the Father? Finally, don't we also act like the elder son in the parable? Let us pause, reflect, and answer for ourselves. God bless you.